I'm going to show you an easy way to print SD closed captions out of your Final Cut Pro 7 system through the AJA Kona board. First, you author your captions with the Mac Caption tool and make sure that the captions start at zero. Then you make sure that your encode preferences are set up right. You do that by going to Caption Top Menu, Encode Preferences, and make sure that Program A, where your captions reside, is set to CC1. Also make sure that you include 608 captions in your DTV export operations. Hit OK, and now you're ready to export. To export a QuickTime 608 caption track from Mac Caption for standard definition, you go to File, Export, and select the Podcast Web QuickTime 608, QuickTime 608 Closed Caption option. This will generate a new reference clip that will reference your final edited sequence from Final Cut Pro 7. You can also make this a self-contained movie if you need to transport to another Final Cut Pro system. If you deselect the self-contained option, it will simply make a reference clip. You hit save, and then you make sure that you set your caption data lowest limit to a zero-based option that matches your Mac caption project. Press OK. And now you're ready to check your captions inside QuickTime Player. Notice when I open this reference clip that references the final edited sequence video, I can turn on captions inside QuickTime by going to View, Show Closed Captioning. If I press Play, I can do a quick spot check to check for settings, sync, I'm and positioning of the inside of QuickTime so Player. Of what I say Once I'm satisfied with my too. captions inside QuickTime I'm Player, I'm ready to print to tape. There are a few more settings in Final Cut Pro and AJA that you must select. First, let's go to the View top menu in Final Cut Pro 7. Make sure that Video Playback is set to either 8-bit or 10-bit standard definition for 720 by 486. Once that is set, go to your AJA control panels and under the Format tab, make sure that the VANC is deselected for standard definition line 21. And also make sure that your primary native format is set to 525i 2997 for standard definition NTSC video. Now you're ready to go to the print to tape menu in Final Cut Pro 7. To do that, you go to File, Print to Video, and make sure that you select Insert Closed Caption Data from File. It's selected. You browse for the QuickTime reference clip that was exported from Mac Caption, and you press Choose. You press OK, and now notice that Final Cut Pro 7 takes that 608 QuickTime and turns it into Line 21 VBI or Vertical Blanking Intervals. This will ensure that the captions go out out of your Kona 3 or Kona LHI card. 